speaker will be Dr. Richard G. Margolis, a professor of surgical oncology at the Jewish General Hospital, McGill University in Montreal, Canada. He will present findings from the next featured study, a phase three trial of anastrozole versus tamoxifen to prevent breast cancer after lumpectomy and radiation therapy for ductal carcinoma in situ in postmenopausal women. Dr. Mar Dr. Margolis. Thank you. I'd like to thank ASCO for uh, inviting us to present our paper, and I'd like to thank our uh, co-investigators who helped uh, conduct the trial. Uh, this is the first trial of uh, anastrozole versus tamoxifen for DCIS, and it represents a step along the path of our organization in treating patients with DCIS, first establishing uh, breast conserving surgery and then establishing that tamoxifen as adjuvant helped uh, diminish recurrences. And now we're stepping into uh, a newer drug to see if it would be better and or safer. The design is very simple, whoops. Uh, half the patients were randomized to receive tamoxifen and a placebo for the other drug whereas the other half received an astrazole and a placebo for tamoxifen. Uh, the objective was to decrease the incidence of breast cancer events. That's called the breast cancer free interval, BCFI. And as you can see that in women younger than 60, this was done conspicuously so that the hazard rate is 0.5 and the p-value is 0.003. In women older than 60, they all do well. Tamoxifen and anastrozole are of equivalent benefit, and there's no se seeming difference. Uh, we do not have a good explanation for this. It requires more biologic probing, uh, which is another object of clinical trials, to use the results as a biologic probe and see if we can learn something useful from that. The other secondary endpoints, which would be death from other causes, other cancers, and anything else that could happen to someone, were all decreased, but the only significant one was the incidence of invasive cancer in the other breast, which again was cut by almost half. All of the events in the anastrogrel cell group are less than the events in the tamoxifen group, but they're not statistically significant, and all of the numbers are relatively small because, as you saw in the previous slide, 90% of the women with this problem will do well and are doing well out to 10 years. With tamoxifen, one of the more worrisome side effects was always the increased risk of uterine cancer. And as you can see here, there were 17 cases representing about one and a half or 1.6 percent of all the patients. There were a few cases with anastrozole, just as there are cases in any group of uh, women, but that it is not statistically different and the confidence intervals are spread across one. So. Uh, the evidence is that tamoxifen does carry a slight increased risk of uterine cancer. The number of osteoporotic fractures would be expected to be higher with anastrozole because it inhibits the production of estrogen, and um, this takes away some of the protection that that would give women. But again, the results are uh, not significant in a statistical sense, although here you see the numeric trend in favor of tamoxifen being uh, slightly less uh, worrisome for that reason. Um, in conclusion, it looks like anastrozole is more effective than tamoxifen in preventing the escalation of DCIS into invasive cancer. DCIS is essentially curable, but invasive cancer could metastasize and carries a different risk. There is an acceptable safety profile, as I just showed you. Uh, the Severe adverse reactions are uncommon, and they're a little bit less common with anastrozole. So it might turn out to be the preferable option for adjuvant treatment of DCIS, especially for women in whom there is concern about thromboembolism or um, uterine cancer because of various features in that person's history. So all in all, we believe that this is a safer and more effective drug for the treatment of DCIS period. Thank you, Dr. Margulies. Uh, again, very important results and answers a very important clinical question for those of us who treat women with DCIS. And now the availability of the aromatase inhibitors does improve our odds that we'll be able to counsel patients on an individual level uh, with the availability now of uh, both anastrozole as well as tamoxifen.